having a strong password is a good idea. Joining me this morning is Travis Rossow, the Cybersecurity Infra Team Red Team Lead, excuse me, with the North Dakota Information Technology Department. Good morning to you, Travis. Thank yeah. you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. And it is Cybersecurity Awareness Month, so yes, it, is it is a timely topic. Right. And like we said, we're talking about passwords. So first, can you tell me why strong passwords are important? And then maybe kind of give me an example of what a strong password is, because I know the standards have changed significantly just even over the past 10 years. Correct, yeah. You know, weak, weak passwords are an, you know, a way that criminals can easily get into your account, right? Mm -hmm. And so it, the, the weaker your password is, the easier it is for them to get in. So we really encourage strong passwords. A strong password might be uh, the length of it is very important. The longer the password, the, the harder it is for them to uh, to crack it. Um, the complexity of a password is another important measure, right? So you would uh, use uppercase, lowercase numbers, special symbols, and then and finally making those passwords unique across your different accounts. Uh, so that would help if they did crack your password, they wouldn't get into all your accounts. Yeah, it just gives them access, just, just that one. Just to that one, yes. And, and, and having uh, the password manager is really effective to help you keep track of all your passwords. A password manager is something that you would, you would buy to put on your computer that would then allow you to have multiple passwords in there for different accounts. So that way you wouldn't have to remember those complex passwords we just talked about. Uh, but what you'd want to do is on that password manager, you would have a very complex password to make sure that you were protecting that keys of the kingdom part. Absolutely. So it's just like having a notebook with all your passwords in it, but much more secure. Much more secure, yeah. And another good thing with, with passwords too is to have like a password phrase instead of having, you know, password one as your, as your <laughs> password, which some people do, which is, is a weak password. Uh -huh. You would have a phrase such as like riding horse in the summer is fun, right? Mm -hmm. You would you would use that as something you remember, but it's long, it's complex, but it's easy for you to remember and to put it into the system. Yeah, I think we might have a few people running to their computers <laughs> to change from password one right now. <laughs> right, right, exactly. And I think we talked earlier, uh, it's very important to be able to have those uh, methods to reset your password, right? So yes. everyone does forget mm -hmm. passwords. We have them all over the place for every account that we're getting into. And so having that ability to reset your password, uh, making sure that those mechanisms that you're resetting it with are very secure as well. So mm -hmm. a lot of people have it send an email to themselves to reset a password. You want to make sure your email then has a very complex and, and secure and strong password. Absolutely, because then if, if the criminals get into your email, then they can kind of go from there and just reset passwords. Right, exactly. And you know, you have accounts that go into a lot of different things, you know, from your personal side to your business to school. And so, you know, th those more important accounts where you are, you know, have your personal information and you want to make sure that they really have very strong passwords. Other accounts where maybe you're, it's, it's nothing that you really have any personal information into, you know, those are ones that maybe you can, can lax, but you should always have strong passwords. I, you know, you, it's hard to remember all your passwords, but at the end of the day, passwords are what's keeping your account secure. Absolutely. And that password manager, is there any one that you guys recommend or are they kind of all the same? Obviously, it's a paid service, so do you yeah. kind of get what you pay for in that aspect? It depends on what you really want with it, right? I think what you'd want to go to a trusted source, uh, you know, con consumer reports out there, go to a trusted site that you could actually do a review on some password managers. Uh, there's different capabilities if you want to be able to share passwords across devices and things along those lines. You just want to make sure it's giving you what you want, but um, and also being very secure. Absolutely. And so another thing that you talked about was multi-factor authentication, MFA, right? Right, correct. So what is that and how does that help us? Well, multi-factor really adds another layer to your password and authentication. So right now, most of the time you do is your username and password. And then at this point with multi-factor, it's something that you have. So uh, the password is something that you know, and you can share, you know, share, passwords get shared or stolen, mm -hmm. but the multi-factor adds that other layer where it's something that you have. And most of the time it would be like a, a cell phone. Mm -hmm. So as an example, after you enter your username and password into a system, maybe it'll send you a text to your phone. You open up your phone, enter in a credential or enter in a number or you hit accept and then it logs you into the system. So the multi-factor, which is also known as two-factor authentication, adds another layer of security on top of it. So in case your password does get cracked, right, you would have your, your phone, which normally you have in your possession, mm -hmm. and thus then you can authenticate into that system again. So if you get a warning that says, hey, you're trying to log in and it's not you, there's a way to say, no, it's not me, and then correct. that can report it to wherever, and it won't allow who's ever trying to log in access. That is correct. If you're getting those notifications, those two-factor authentications on your phone, and you're not actually logging in and doing it, you can definitely say, no, it was not me on most applications, and that will even block that authentication attempt and, and alert the, the individual that are probably monitoring for those kind of things. So if you do get that alert, then does that mean that you should go in and kind of start changing passwords? like? something's wrong, I have a weak link here, mm -hmm. 
I should probably go in and try to reset everything. That is correct. Yeah, you should definitely follow up with it, especially if it's not something that you're aware of, and then start resetting passwords right. Okay. And correct. so, now, my big question is, you know, the cybersecurity is supposed to be making everyone safe and our community safe. How does, you know, bringing this awareness, how does it keep me and my community safer and just make everything more secure? Well, I think I think there's there's two things. It's getting the awareness out there is very important, right, because cause, cause really the weakest link is the person, the individual out there, right? We're the ones that the the attackers are uh, trying to manipulate to either provide our passwords or, or use weak passwords such that they can get into the accounts and then and then propagate from there. So I think it's, it's all of us doing the right things at the end of the day, right, that'll help secure everything, uh, make us feel safer out there as, as we stop, you know, m we, we remediate or mitigate what's, what's happening with these passwords. Absolutely, and I know North Dakota is leading the way in cybersecurity and uh, with our educational policies that we've put in place. So mm -hmm. we are doing a, the best that we can to make sure that we are we stay safe. That's right. So we thank you for that. Yep. Great. Okay. Well, Travis, we're unfortunately we're out of time, but thank you so much for joining me today yep. and updating us all on why we need to keep those passwords so secure. Thank you. Yep. And stay with us. We'll have a look at your seven-day forecast right after this.